Hi guys. It's Monday evening, 8.15. It's cold, it's wet, it's typically British. <laughs> anyway. I went to Mum's yesterday. And, uh... I knew this for a few weeks. What I didn't know was that the reason Mum was going to be late yesterday, because she phoned me and said she was running late, was because she picked it up yesterday. <laughs> what am I talking about? I am talking about a little Jack Russell puppy. It's a girl. Her name is Peggy. This is a photo that my sister sent me today. Her name is Peggy. She's seven, just over seven and a half weeks old. Um, and it looks like in that photo she has claimed stepdad's shoes. <laughs> but other than being your typical puppy, you know, chewing on just about anything in sight, <laughs> I'm just going to dig up the photo I took yesterday. Um, she's a lovely little thing. She settled in extremely well. Here she is again. This is the one I took yesterday on stepdad's camera. I had been laying on the floor right here on the laptop, which is pictured there. And not only did she waltz across the laptop keyboard, I don't know how many times. Um because I was leaning on my arms at the time she just curled up underneath me like that and went to sleep so uh, yeah she's she's taken to well you know being taken away from her brothers and sisters and what not really really well I'm surprised I don't think I've ever known a puppy to like uh, settle in pretty much instantly I'm not kidding she weren't interested that much in um, you know sniffing around getting to know the place um, you know she didn't sit there like a little nervous wreck you know not wanting to move or anything like that she just wanted to play instantly just wanted to play <clears throat> uh, she's a rough coat by the way fluffy as hell and she looks a lot soft well she's a lot softer than she looks I always thought as you know from the term rough coat they would be um, a bit rough but she's extremely soft and extremely tiny she's a tiny little thing absolutely tiny little thing so that was a good day yesterday uh, da 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 uh, and then mum had a power cut about nine o'clock last night. Um, so it's just as well I gave her a couple of torches to keep hold of, really, isn't it? Um, I'm going back to mum's Wednesday. Reason being, it's my birthday. And I'll be 33 years of age. Feeling like 43 at times. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, so it's my birthday, Wednesday, I'm going over to Mum's again, no idea what they've got planned, not a lot because I'm not fussy, I'm not one for going out anyway and I'll quite happily eat at home. scrolling through Facebook. Oh, um, yeah, so today all I've done is fix that Apollo bike that I bought home yesterday. 
or a safe fixer, I cleaned it up, changed the back wheel and uh, tweaked the rear brake a little bit and that was it. I've left it. It's all working. That's up on Gumtree. No replies yet. But it is up on Gumtree. Uh, it's now locked up out front, out of the way. Um, I will be getting some more LEDs Thursday. LED lighting, that is. Um, that lamp there. The Liddles have got bulbs in for that. Well, they will have Thursday, according to their leaflet. Um, 5 watt LED reflector bulbs. Um, think the offer is two for five pounds or two ninety nine each. And the other thing they've got back in, which funny enough I was thinking of Saturday, because I saw the leaflet yesterday at Mum's. Um, I um, I've got those LED strips under here. You can just see the power cable sort of hanging there. Um, well, I've only got two. And you can get packs of like three, I think, at most from Lidl. So I'm going to get another pack. So I can put them under here a bit more evenly to get rid of um, the dark spots at either end and in the middle. I hope. Because <laughs> I can daisy chain more lights to the existing lights here. I can't remember what the limit is. Is it ten? And the instructions are long gone for these, so because I've had these lights up there for a while. So I want to grab some of those. Uh, I can't think of anything else. I would actually need LED wires. I don't need any lamps. Uh don't need any lighting above this. Yeah. Don't think I need anything else to be honest. I think once I've just got the bulbs for that lamp. I can't think of any other lamps that I want an LED bulb for. Hey, never mind. Well, this is something I did the other day. I can't remember if I've already shown you. Got my um, Marantz tape deck installed down here. I did try it on there but it raised up the stereo too much and took up too much room so I just stuffed it under here it is all connected up PS2 is on top of it and the Xbox 360 is on there because it needs repairs um, it does not play discs you open the drawer put a disc in and it'll say reading disc on screen for a few seconds and then just say open tray so I've got a tray issue, but for what a, you know, a red ringed one would cost me on eBay, they're cheap as bleeding chips at the minute. I'm gonna get one and fix it. I was gonna um, eBay that for spares or repairs, but I've actually seen them spares or repairs on eBay go for as little as five pounds, so I don't deem it worth it. For that, I thought I might as well, you know, just get another one and fix that. He moves on his chair. I've emptied his box out for him. Uh, I don't actually know why I came in here to be honest. Decided I'd keep the Ferguson record player. Uh, better clear this off later so I can actually get into bed later. Oops. I left my red LED lights on all day. So now they are looking rather dim. I've got nice little decorative um, LEDs going around my bed there. It's an autistic thing. In case anyone's thinking, why? Just nice to have a bit of soft red light to go to sleep to. <coughs> Right. I was going to pick up one of those little leaflets so I can actually show you what I wanted, but I forgot it when I was at Lidl's. 
because I'm a dipstick. <laughs> oh, pair of brake calipers sold while I was at Mum's yesterday. So today I've got them all packed up, boxed up down there, ready to be um, dispatched. If I don't get it done before Thursday, I'll do it first class on Thursday. Which means I'll lose a little bit on the postage, but not to worry. I don't think I can get it done before then. Uh. Hmm. I wonder how much my uh phone bill is going to be because it's due but I don't know how much it's going to be because I've had to cut into my little saving pile there it'd be nice if I could sell these two fucking bikes because that'll be my service charge sorted if I can minutes and I get a bunch of notifications come through. I sit here and I don't get fuck all come through. <laughs> right, I can't think of anything else. Go and plug my battery charger because that's hissing down my lug hole. It just makes this hissy noise when there's no batteries in it. I better empty my recycling bin. So I've got one, two, three, four empty bottles down here. Five if I count the sun of cream bottles. Six if I count the one up there. <laughs> oh dear, I've got wind. tried to get my pills today but they weren't ready which is a bit of a bitch because I've actually ran out today completely I don't even have any glycoside so um, but when I checked it had been signed it just hadn't been transferred over to the pharmacy next door because I just fill in the prescription that they put in with my meds and uh, you know just tick off what I want and they, um, the doctor checks it, prints off another prescription, and signs it, sends that over to the pharmacy next door, and all I do is go in and uh, pick it up. But I do say it give two working days, and I forgot that I'd only stuck it in Friday. You, know, you don't even have to go to the counter, you can just fill in your form and stick it in the box that's uh, on the wall by the main door. Simple. So uh, that will be done uh, tomorrow. Should have gone across this evening and I think the pharmacy down there closes at 10 so it's always quiet in there in the evening so no doubt the pharmacist probably does those you know just for something to do overnight or while he's there in the evening. <coughs> Or, make, or whoever's on in the evening does them and then if the pharmacist isn't then the pharmacist checks them in the morning so I know the pharmacist himself or herself has to uh, double check them uh, but uh, that'll be the first thing I'll do before I do anything else just to whiz down there and uh, pick them up my fault because I'd left it late. For some reason I always think I've got more pills left than I actually have. And by the time I realise I'm getting low, I'm getting too low, and then this happens. <laughs> I end up with no pills for a day. <clears throat> God. Well, I ran out of metformin yesterday. I've not had any today, but I haven't eaten any 
well, apart from sauces, I haven't actually, you know, eaten anything sweet, like um, biscuits, chocolate, or anything like that. I've deliberately stayed away from it. It's tempting, because I've got two biscuit bars on the shelf beside me. And I don't actually have much self-discipline, so the fact that they're still there <laughs> is something of a miracle. Well, they were. Where have I thrown them? Oh, I can see them. There's another shelf up. <sighs> I really should keep an eye on my pills and put the repeat in at least five days before I actually need them. Because then I can go down like, I don't know, two or three days after I've put the script in and go and get them. And they'll be there and I wouldn't have to worry. And punish my body like I am at the minute because I've been pissing for the Olympics all day. But my sugars are too high. And I can't do fuck all about it. They're not scarily high. Oh well. Shit happens. <laughs> I'm just having another scroll through the news feed on Facebook but absolutely jack shit of interest. Got an itchy nostril, I'm not picking my nose. If I was picking my nose I'd be doing that. <laughs> Minus the silly face. Right. That's it, I think, for today. Doesn't matter what I try and do, I always end up with around about 20 minutes, so that'll do. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thumbs up the video if you like it. Leave a comment if there's anything you'd actually want me to do in a video. And if I can do it, I probably will do it. But, uh, anyway, I'll probably do another one Wednesday. I'm going to take the camera with me so I can get some footage of Peggy and uh, I hope. Um, so yeah, thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you again Wednesday. Bye bye.